slide these little ends off and just pull them off. There's a whole new sheet here. Okay. on the car and Aiden comes running up and he goes, don't worry guys, I'm here. <laughs> Everybody just looked at me. We don't know anybody at the park. I was just like, <laughs> we made it. I know. So Aiden didn't have any injuries on his body. I took them all, but unfortunately, I made it out. And Aiden didn't. Um, and can you just kind of tell me a little bit about Aiden when was a child? Oh my goodness, Aiden was so much fun. He was just the most fun little boy ever. You know, I mean, he'd be like, "Oh, for gosh sakes, mommy." <laughs> Let me have the candy. And, you know, I just look at him and I'm like, oh my goodness, is that my mouth coming out of my child right now? Because it was. He was just, he was wonderful. He was so much fun. He loved Lightning McQueen. He loved poop. <laughs> oh my goodness. And believe it or not, he didn't drink soda or eat candy. Oddly enough, yeah. So he was just a natural ball of energy. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. He was my favorite little human. I'm really sorry for um, is there anything else? Uh, oh, I did see that in an article from two years ago that the community was really helpful. Oh, the community was wonderful. Everybody came together. The night of the accident, I had been wearing my glasses. Uh, well, due to the way that I was hit and the severity of the injuries, I was hit from the left-hand side. So, given my, my size, I hit the grill. Uh, my glasses were knocked off my face, and I had, uh, I had, you know, cuts on the corner of my eye, and I couldn't put my contacts in, and so I had to have my glasses. Unfortunately.
unfortunately, I wasn't able to walk properly due to being struck from the left-hand side. And I wasn't able to go down to get my glasses myself. So somebody that I had never met before uh, picked them up for me and brought them to my house and took care of everything for me. There was even another point uh, while I was at the funeral home that they notified me that an anonymous donor here within the community had paid for all of Aiden's services, which was wonderful. I had I have never taken care of a funeral before. I had no idea what to anticipate, but everything had already been taken care of for me, and it and it all went according to what I wanted and how I had it planned. But everybody within the city of Cheyenne was just amazing with all of their support and everything that they did to help me out, to help get through, basically. Because at that point, all you are really doing is powering through. You don't, if the, the trauma and the, the impact that it has on you, you don't understand it until you're actually in it. To the point where I can't take out my trash or check my mail, so everybody within the neighborhood is coming over to help take out my trash and check my mail and make sure that I'm eating and just different stuff, but everybody was really great. Okay, and then, um, other than that, I know it's really been hard uh, with your with loss and everything like that, but um, for me, I just want to know for this kind of impact for you guys and your family, um, what has it really, how, is, how have you guys been able to go, I guess, kind of result, I had to get closer to my faith. Um, last year, I had asked the DA to give the young man who hit us uh, probation with the contingency that he speak to children his age about the importance of driver awareness. At the end of the day, it wasn't just my family that was impacted that day. It was his entire family, his wife, his son, his parents, not just my family's life was ruined that night. It, was, it wasn't going to be win-win for anybody involved. And this was the best situation, the best outcome that I could come to without completely destroying somebody else's life. Taking a father away from his son isn't going to bring my child back tomorrow. But it will significantly alter his child's quality of life. And, that, and that's something important to understand. It's not just about me and my family that night. If I turn to alcohol to cope, I can only hope and pray that somehow he didn't do something worse than I did. Coping is the most difficult part because you don't understand how you're going to react to everything it is that you're going through. You're experiencing emotions. I was a single mother for five years almost. That was my life. And so to have that taken away from me, it all but destroyed me. And it's been a tough battle. I've had to put a lot of work into myself, and I've had to put a lot of faith into God. And if it wasn't for the pastors that I've met throughout the way, and the people that I've gotten to know, and getting into my scripture, I don't, I can't tell you that I would be where I am right now if I didn't do that. And lastly, um, is there any, at this point aside from the community of Cheyenne, who said they all have helped you out tremendously, um, would you like to give thanks to them, or Anybody back at home? Is there anything else that you would like to add for everyone back at home that will see this later on? The community was wonderful. Leslie's been great. She's been a big support for me. Carrie over little over at Little Paws, she's been wonderful to me. Zach, my realtor at the time, he was great to me with uh, Platinum Real Estate. Um, everybody's just been so wonderful. And, you know, unfortunately, oh my goodness, and the people at Walgreens, they gave me all my photos for free because they knew me. But that's because we were always in there. But everybody was just wonderful. This, I mean, the community was just great to me after the accident. Uh, and just a uh, clarification for the accident that took place on, was on Lincoln? Lincoln Way in Converse, right in front of Subway. Uh,
maybe because I won't know. Just see. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got footage.